Hey, what's going on everyone? Just wanted to make an update video. Uh, a few of the YouTubers I actually watched, they were doing videos about like safety in the Philippines, stuff like that. And I kind of want to give my perspective of some recent things that happened. And uh, kind of my perspective of living there for about a little under the, a year. I stayed there off and on for the four times I've been there. Kind of have a little bit more experience of just living in the country compared to traveling around a bit and uh, it, it is a little bit different so you do have to watch out for certain things and you got to be cautious of certain things so what recently happened to us is our motorbike was stolen so the thing is when we're in Canada I leave the bike at our uh, family's house there in the Philippines so it's stored there and they use it for doing errands around the house uh, stuff around town stuff like that so it's kind of like the family bike until we're back then we use it the whole time. What happened was my brother-in-law was taking some friends and I think they're out drinking late at night and they were taking friends to go drop them off at their house or something like that and in a bad neighborhood and this was actually near the neighborhood where we actually got our uh, my wife's purse got hijacked while we were on the bike so it's definitely a sketchy neighborhood it's kind of located near the hospital uh, area in Bacolod so that's definitely a place you got to watch out for late at night so I guess what happened was they were going around, there's I think three of them or something on a bike, and I guess they got hijacked, they threw them, threw them off, threw the bike down, and I guess stole the bike, and I think there was a fight that happened. I'm not 100% sure of all the details and stuff, but bike thieves stole the bike and took off with it, and uh, they reported it to the cops, I guess, right away. And I guess the cops are really good there in Bacolod because they knew exactly where to go look and pretty much that next day they found the bike and pretty much case solved, you know, they, they knew exactly who to go talk to or I guess they weren't there because they, they knew the cops were after them. So they got the bike, they didn't catch the perpetrator I don't think, um, but uh, yeah, that's good news. We got, a, we got the bike back, There's, but yeah, that's good news. We got the bike back. And uh, I guess all there was for damages was just a scratch on it. So really not that bad at all. But the hassle begins there with the paperwork. So anything to do with paperwork in the Philippines is a crazy, crazy headache. And uh, just be prepared if you ever have to deal with it. Because I think it took us around three weeks to a month just to get this all figured out. Because at first I had to write a letter to the police department with my signature and all that stuff and driver's license and stuff to show who I am and give authority to my brother-in-law to pick it up. And you'd think it'd be such a simple thing where I could just like sign something and then get it done, right? No, no. So we, we send it off, I email it, then it comes back a few days later, it's not good enough. We have to go to a lawyer or attorney and get a uh, authorized uh, letter signed, get a lawyer stamp or attorney stamp on it. So we think, okay, so we go do that. We stamp it and all this stuff, and then we, we send it over, we email it over, and uh, they say, oh no, well, this isn't right, this isn't right, the signature wasn't in the right spot, and the attorney here was like, what? What, what does that have to do with it? But over there, everything has to be very specific. The length of paper was not correct. We had to go get a special long form legal form because they wouldn't accept any other paper size. They wrote the letter out what it should look like, the attorney over in the Philippines. We got it here, we just signed it, and then we got it back, and then they said, oh, well, there's mistakes here. You, you were supposed to fix those mistakes. No one ever told us anything. The attorney never gave us any kind of idea, so then we got to fix all that. Then the email wasn't good enough. They said, oh, no, well, we can't do this because we need this, this, and this. So then we had to go back again to the attorney, make another appointment and stuff, go back there, get him to stamp it and sign it all again. And he's like, okay, he was, he was just like, he had no idea why we had to do this because it looked fine before, but he's just like, okay, if, if that's how it is in the Philippines, then I guess do it all again. So he stamps it again. And then, then we finally mail it off to snail mail. And that got over there about 10 days or so. So that wasn't too bad. And then they finally gave the bike back. So that took around a month just to get the bike back. It just sat there at the police station. So at least it was safe, but uh, yeah, definitely a major, major hassle. So 
I've actually only heard of one other uh, expat in the Philippines living there who's actually had a bike stolen. I think that was Ned down in Dumaguete with uh, Philippine Dreams on YouTube there. And it sounds like it came to the same conclusion. Uh, over there, I think theirs was stolen at night or something like that. And then the police found it a few days later. So I gotta hand it to the police in the Philippines. You guys are pretty damn good at finding bikes. So out of all the people I know in the Philippines, uh, only two of us have ever gotten their bikes stolen that I know of. And we both actually got them back. So that's the good news. And uh, yeah, definitely something you gotta watch out for. You don't wanna be driving around in bad areas in the middle of the night. Uh, especially drinking and uh, yeah, being unaware of your surroundings and stuff. It's just not good. We actually got our bag stolen in a similar situation near the same area. So definitely something got to watch out for. We were going like really slow and just cruising along slowly and someone just cruised right up beside us, cut my wife's bag and drove off really fast before we knew it. And uh, yeah, we tried to chase them down, but it didn't work. So uh, yeah, definitely be careful where you're driving, know the areas and don't be going into bad areas at night on bikes and thinking it's okay to just cruise anywhere in any city. So definitely something to watch out for if you're new to the country or if you're gonna be living there or something like that. So I think that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, definitely try to stay safe out there. Don't be driving around in bad areas at night. And uh, catch you guys later and peace out until next video.